Hello to everyone, this is Adventure Story and today we talk about the monitoring system inside engine control room. As you can see here, this is the Kongsberg system and uh, in this schematic diagram we have uh, the fuel load system. There is some main conditions we can see and some uh, features. In this uh, schematic diagram, as you can see, we can see temperatures we can see pressures of main engine, we can see pressure of the diesel generator and also we can see some alarms like viscosity alarm low, viscosity alarm high we can see level alarm low of tanks, of our service tanks as you can see here what else we can see? we can see how our system is consists of machineries, how it's working and after that there is a lot of pages, different pages. This page as you can see is telling us about the boil system. We have piston cooling the boil temperature, main bearing temperature, this is very important. We have turbocharger inlet oil, cooling oil and outlet also the boil pressure of turbocharger, we have main boil piston pressure, we have main boil temperature, piston cooling boil pressure inlet, okay? <coughs> we have also some filters, differential pressure alarm high, we have also main boil system tank level alarm low, we have intermediate bearing shaft 27.7 uh, degrees temperature and we have a schematic diagram of our system, okay? Here, this is the purifier system purifier system and also our bunker system we can see temperatures of our storage tank and after that, the working temperature of the boil purifier and fuel oil purifiers, okay? This is the boil purifier we can see the oil temperature and pressure inside the diesel generators and how our system is. Okay. As I have checked from real diagrams, there is almost the same. There is a little bit different, but in the diagrams it's more properly explained each uh, piping diagram. Okay. Here we have boiler, feed water system. We can see exhaust gas temperatures, we can see pressures, we can see water level inside. Also, we can see the gas gate tank level, pressure alarms. But the bad thing in these uh, diagrams and in that kind of ships, very cheap ships, that you cannot operate any pumps. In some other ships, there's a interesting point that you can work all the pumps, you can also operate valves, everything you like. It's very interesting and very good. It's more easy to operate. Here you can see exhaust gas temperatures, managing air scavenging temperatures, turbocharger exhaust gas inlet, outlet, there is a lot of information this kind of diagram, coverage air pressure, control air pressure, air bottle pressure, service deck, and main also air bottle. You can see sea water system, okay? You can see cooling fresh water system. As you can see, bracket temperature is cylinder. You can see also for generators, and also you can see diagram. In this kind of system, you can input your values here, what you like to see, and uh, it depends in hours here. This is the hours, and here this is the values. You can see some diagrams, and from these diagrams, you can understand a lot about your system, how your system is working, if it's working properly, why it starts uh, so many times, some system. As you can see here, 
many diagrams. Uh, which one? Okay, let's say this boiler pressure is stable, this is good. If something is stable, it's good. If there is some minor plate, also it's good. If there is minor plate, plate of uh, diagram, it's also good. As you can see here, this is exhaust gas temperature. What you can understand from this diagram is that uh, for some reason there is increase maybe at the flow or half of the ship and after that they easily easy reduce the speed and the exhaust gas also maybe also the engine was stopped at this point and easy, easy the exhaust gas drop hours by hours as you can see there is 15 hours passing from this point after that there is stabilized temperature and after that there is the beginning again of main engine an increase also in the exhaust gas temperature here you can see air compressor start stop diagram okay as you can see I have set from here, from grid, if you press this grid, there appear this grid, which separates the time between them, okay? And it's easy to manage your diagrams. As you can see, there is a difference between them, 20 minutes. And something here happened. In this point, there is a open valve for drain. That's why the pressure going so down. And also there is more time for air compressor to increase pressure again to set value. As you can see here, something happened, okay? And also here, this is air to deck. This is, you can see, how it's working air dryer, which release air from one bottle and another. And you can see the cycle of machinery, and you can compare hour by hour. This is a refrigerating plant. As you can see here it stopped the refrigerating plant. The refrigerating plant achieved the temperature and after that the temperature increased is easy or there is some defrost set making every how many hours? every 12 hours make the frost cycle also jacket temperature you can change here any values you like if it is inside the system you can monitor them and also you can see one by one in pages the alarm groups the set points you can see everything if it's inside the computer system if it's added because if there is no sensors also you cannot see any, anything else okay thank you for watching this is the venture story watch the next videos bye bye